Hello and welcome to Copperhead Road Homestead. Me and Steve think it's high time that we hill up these potatoes. If you're interested in something like that, then stay tuned. All right, first things first, before we do anything, we need to go get some hay from the property next door from the 80 acres that we bought. Uh, it used to be a hay field, so they left, uh, the previous owners left some old hay, and that's gonna be perfect for hilling this up. So I'm gonna go get that, and we'll be right back. So this hay has been sitting over there for who knows how long. It was beside the pond that was over there. Uh, so I'm gonna bring it over here and it's gonna be perfect for hilling up these potatoes. Uh, if you wanna see what we're doing, uh, pretty much all you do is you uh, put uh, some dirt or mulch, or in this case, old hay uh, on top of where the potatoes were. They grow up, move this down a little bit. Uh, they've grown up just like this. And all you do is just hill it up. Uh, if you're doing a small scale, if you're doing a lot larger, then you need to do something different. Maybe get on a tractor and just push it over. Uh, but uh, all you're trying to do is, uh, is hill it up until these top leaves are sticking out. And they're gonna do that again. You keep on hilling it up and it'll be, end up with a lot of potatoes. <music> Just enough of the green to still pop through and I'll do this again probably two or three more times before I uh, actually harvest them. I'm gonna get a hose and uh, water this down really well. Uh, so uh, potatoes need moisture if you want the big fat potatoes the more you do. These are Kennebec potatoes so uh, I'm gonna go get the water hose and I'll show you what we do and then we'll uh, finish this on out. One of the great things about using the hay is that it's going to hold a little bit of moisture and uh, then it'll be easy for the potatoes to grow in there as well uh, and then it's going to keep on growing we're going to keep adding it and i've still got this other hay behind me uh, that i didn't use very much of this uh, and i've got it right here underneath my topsy-turvy tomatoes so anytime i water it i can water this as well uh, this is going to be perfect if you have a very small space and you can't grow a lot this is a good way to do it if you've got a bigger space and you want to grow a big uh, long row of it and this is going to be too time consuming for that and we'll talk about another way to do that some other time uh, but uh, if you want to grow potatoes this is probably the second step uh, if you want to go back and watch uh, the uh, me planting them it was part of another video it was more of a vlog and a series of things that i combined all together i'll put a link to it right up here but uh, this is what we're doing if you're interested in doing these things then i think it would probably be good uh, we'll see what uh, what it turns out with this uh, uh, whenever we harvest it. If you like things like this, like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, select all so you never miss a notification, and come back every day because we've got a new video for you every day in a live stream on Sunday nights at 8 p.m. Thanks for coming. Say bye, Steve.